I'm gonna be showing these things off. <laughs> so today I am back from a fresh trip to the fabulous Asheville, North Carolina, where just like I knew there would be, there were street musicians playing and artists and people making necklaces and earrings and just doing their own thing, you know? I mean, it it is so refreshing. I was um, chatting with somebody. I was just talking about how, you know, what about, like, when, when are we going to bust out of this, um, this shell we live in these days that's like um, what you're supposed to do? Just like with our diet, we're supposed to eat, you know, a starch, a, a veggie, a bread, a meat, you know, like your little four corners of the plate. I mean, when are we going to bust out of that and realize there's a different way? Today, I was just looking around and thinking how, you know, this world is changing and we have to fit the needs of ourselves. I, I was just looking around at the different dynamics of families and people now and how, um, I love that little community because people are very accepting of, of others and they're just not going to frown on me if I'm snacking on these chia crackers. But frankly, I didn't have to because I went to this fabulous restaurant called The Laughing Seed and they had everything on there was vegan, gluten-free, there was plenty of raw. I had like their Laughing Seed salad, which was, it was like the best salad I think I have ever eaten out anywhere. It was just pure and fresh, and it had um, some interesting combinations on it. It had some little bitty, uh, it did have a few sunflower seeds, um, but I had a tahini lemon dressing. I didn't have much because I don't, I don't eat that much tahini, but um, just a little bit of fat in that. And it was just really refreshing and good, and it was just exciting to frankly have someone else serve me, something that I wanted and enjoyed. And then... You, nobody can be hating on this top. It's just too cute. But I was just looking around thinking how awesome it was that it's like a place of acceptance. And, you know, that's the kind of people, that's the kind of um, vibrancy I like to be on. You know, where it's just, just showing love is what I'm saying. Um, but, you know, I was sitting there thinking with all these different people and all their different ways and different family dynamics now and different, you know, it's just how can you bring love and light into your life and not, you know, categorize people so bad and just um, exclude them and put them in a, a box, you know. But, but here's one thing I can know for all people. Can I be sure that 801010 would work for everybody? On my journey and from my perspective and point of view, I would say yes. Because... At what point are we going to quit arguing that the more fruits and vegetables you get, the better off you are? I just don't think anybody can argue with that. They can't, um, they can't deny the content in fresh, ripe, raw fruits and vegetables if they really would just <clears throat> perhaps close their mouth a minute and open their mind and eyes to a new way of thinking, and, and not even this the original way of thinking, but get past their own blocked thinking. Um, I mean, it's, they're the most nutritional, dense foods on the planet. You know, but yet people will still argue their meat, their meat, though, you know, ultimately we can know that we were designed to eat meat if this. You're going past your, um, your road, and there's a little... A little fenced area of some billy goats and you can look at those billy goats and think oh yeah I just like to chase that thing down and just take a bite out of its rear end that would just be delicious with the blood running down and you know it's screaming in pain and that would be delicious if, if we don't think that if, if people think well that that's not natural well who would do that well Long ago, when there was no fire, how do you think you would have cooked the billy goat? I'm just saying. Or, you know, or the chicken or the duck. 
what animal could you look at? Like, can you just look at a cow in a pasture and lick your lips and think, dang, that looks good? No, you can't. It's not natural. You can also know that it's not natural. I mean, when, when your gut tract shrinks to a short gut tract and not laid out as long as a football field, when it's short, then you'll realize it's a good idea for you to eat meat. Then you must be a carnivore because the food doesn't have to putrefy and rot in your guts because it moved through, through quickly. But instead, that's not the fact of where we're coming from. Um, you know what I mean? If it's not working for you, when it's probably, if 80-10-10 is not working for you, it's probably because you're making excuses. People make excuses. Um, or they don't stay in it for the long term. I'm almost seven years on low-fat raw vegan. Twelve and a half on vegan. I've been in it for the long term and I am benefiting and thriving with the long term results. You know, you have to have some stick to itness, you know. Um, or maybe they're not eating enough carb calories. Hello, you're not going to feel good. You're not going to be able to stay on the wagon and you're not going to thrive. You need to get the majority of your calories from fruits, always adding in plenty of leafy greens and vegetables and a little bit of fat so that you are ultimately 80-10-10. Um, you're not getting enough rest. I mean, you're not going to feel good if you've, you're up until 3 in the morning on the computer and, you, and then you finally go to bed and you get up at 6 and you only have 3 hours of sleep at night, every night. You're not going to feel good. There's components of our life that we need to plug in. Um, also, you're a negative thinker. You're thinking, dang, this stuff's not, this, this diet's not going to work for me. You know, I, I'm just blah, 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 whatever you're going to say. Well, ultimately, when you're putting that out into the world, you're getting that, that vibration back. So, you're right. It's not going to work for you. As long as you don't believe, you won't receive. So, anyway, I'm going to tell you what we're going to have for dinner because even though I have that yummy salad, I always like something else. Oh, let me move this cord. There we go. Okay. So, here's what we're going to have. I have my romaine. Fabulous. Then on there. I have a couple of my chia crackers that I cooked earlier and they are already ready. Actually, I uncooked them and dehydrated them. I don't want anybody to be confused and be hating on me. <laughs> no, there's somebody out there with a YouTube channel that loves to hate on me. I'm like her, her big topic. Girl, I hope you're getting a lot of views off of that because you're very entertaining. Um, okay, so then on here I've got my, my little corn dip I made this morning. See that? Can y'all see? Okay. Then I'm going to lay on some tomatoes. This is going to be really yummy and satisfying. Okay. I'm going to take off this end. The end of these are sometimes a little bitter. Okay, so I'm just going to roll it up. And as you see, a little burrito. Now this will be good because I love the crunch of those crackers in there. And um, also I want to show you this. Look, look for a quarter this morning, this big jar I got at a yard sale. Isn't that nice? Really, I'm not, all, look, these are in my front yard, free, one quarter for this beautiful bouquet that I made for myself because I love myself. And then this is really like a good smoothie sized jar, wouldn't you think? But I just wanted to remind you of this. When, um, when people are hating and, and going on and on about you and just remember this. Are these friends getting the results that you desire? Can you look into their eyes and hope to receive the same radiance in back and into yours? Or are you not really sure they're on the right track? I don't know. I see very few people like that. So I think it's a good place to start. I'm going to be looking. But first I'm going to be rocking to this music. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a be this big I'll be rocking to this song in these new hippie pants. <laughs> 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 <laughs>